Hi, Mark Schiller here. Trying to work out what the heck I'm going to do for uh, 2021. Uh, 2020 was a bit of a disaster. Fishing wise, anyway. Never went. Paid my subs, never got on the bank whatsoever. Unfortunately, with COVID and my 88 year old mother work, lives with us. So we spent uh, quite a bit of time. We have to spend obviously looking uh, down that bit. But, and also work. So work and personal thing basically took the whole year. So anyway, going for 2021, trying to work out how the hell to get on the bank. So it's going to be short sessions. Can't see it being much more than that. So I need to come up with a bait that I think is going to work when I get there. And as ever, and, and it's, so I'm trying to work out where to go. So I'm trying to come up with a bait that I think that no one will use. Um, high quality ingredients, taste, I think is a big thing. So the ingredients I'm playing about with, I'm trying to come up with a, a, a milk protein bait with fish and tiger nut, all the things that work. We know that tiger nuts work, um, fish like sort of spicy, milk proteins and that sort of thing. So anyway, here we are with where I'm going. I'll probably... Go a little bit more detail with some things a little bit later, but I'm just sort of talking and playing here. So I've played about with a bit of a mix that I haven't even put in the mixing bowl yet to see whether it actually goes together. Well, basically, I'm working on down the route of um, certain ingredients. For instance, we've got here, um, this is squid powder, pure squid powder it comes from um baccarat one of my um customer uh, a supplier that i use quite a lot but this is pure edible um squid powder very expensive it's about 37 pound for a kilo in powder for so obviously very expensive it's not to be muddled up with which we're looking at here um, this is squid meal which looks like this which we will be using which obviously is the the, the squid including all the bone because if you look finely you can actually see the, the the actual bone within it as well so that's squid meal so that's another ingredient I'm looking at we've got in here then with them on them so on that side what i'm thinking rather than actually using a combination of fish meals which most companies use you know you've got lt94 low um di um pre-digested fish meals tuna meals white fish you know white fish meal squid meal kr krill meal and a lot of companies and a lot of baits that we mix all up, all a combination of everything. So I'm thinking, you can't get do everything. So I'm thinking, right, that will stick to one meal. So I've decided on this one, I'm going to do squid. So I'm going to use some squid meal and some of this um, pure squid powder. That's one of the areas on the fish. So on the fish side, I'm, I'm, I've decided on this one, it, um, it's that area. So then going on to actual um, pro protein side as well, I'm going to go back to the 70s. Milk proteins work very, very well. Um, fish came along and joined in with it. The biggest problem with fish meals, I mean milk, milk proteins, is they're a bit bland. There's, there's not a lot of flavour to them. So... We're looking down that route. You've got basically certain areas. You've got um, rennet casein. This one's from BAF. I also, Baccarol, um, do do it as well. Uh, Baccarol, uh, they do edible versions, human grade. Um, whereas I think the rennet, the casein's from BAF are mainly fish meals. But it's where you want to go. Um, so you've got acid and you've got rennet 
So I tend to do 50% 50 of, 50 of each. Um, also then on the milk proteins, you've got calcium, um, calcium um, caseinate, which is a bit fluffier. It's a fluffier powder. Um, so there's that. Then the mark, the one I mainly use more than anything on 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 milk is whey protein. I use a lot of whey protein, so we've got that. And then also whey gel. So we have the. I tend to have these in big sacks. So we've got those on there. So that's down that area. I always tend to add a little bit um, of egg albumin. Again. We use that in big amounts, so that's here. So down that idea. Now, so that, that's on the milk and the egg side. Other ingredients we're looking at using. The one big bait that works really well, especially through the winter, is tiger nuts. It's a nice, sweet meal. So tiger nut meal. It's a nice fine meal uh, everything I tend to sieve put through a sieve uh, so you don't get lumps in that's target up meal then we've got wheat germ so we'll be pouring a bit of wheat germ in going back as well one of the biggest baits fishing wise what what works is is hemp so hemp what i've come up with and i have used a bit over over time is um hemp protein powder this is from another company i use quite a bit my protein all human grade bodybuilder product massive massive company um, buy in bigger amounts, some you know that sort of thing. So we've got a few ingredients I've actually picked up from there that I'm playing about with. Um, this um, comes out sort of like a a greeny sort of colour, pure powder. But also I found from there, which I did buy some in, um, just to play about with and have a look at, is actual organic hemp super seed i bought this just to sort of have a look and this looks pretty awesome it's pure hemp human grade you could eat this that's what it's for all their stuff but my protein is human grade so looking at some of that another one that the you is this I think it's called Shear Super, super Seed. Oh, high pro, it's got a high protein in it. A very, very, very fine seed. It's very awkward to get you to see that. See how you can see on that. Very tiny. I don't like pump So there's something like that. And then they'd also do a vitamin vitamin powder multivitamin powder very white fluffy powder now because milk protein is quite bland i wanted to sort of make it a bit of cream a bit of a cream and more of a milk flavor within it and um, rather than use lamb lac which is that that was one option which i do use a bit of i do use this believe it or not Works really well. Obviously, yeah, we all take it within the coffee. So it's pure cream powder. So we'll be using some of that within it. Um, to that then, I've then decided to actually add um, its flavours and that sort of area. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually add some hemp oil pure hemp oil on the oil side so we're going down with the hemp um, I'm only going to use a very minute amount of, of actual flavourings I'm just going to add a very touch of um, squid 
with a bit of tiger nut. Probably do a little less squid than the tiger nut. Um, I'll add a small amount of, of um, our amino acid liquid. And then rather to the flavours, I'm going to add just a few drops of geranium oil and black pepper oil. And then to that blend, um, one ingredient, I do a lot of cooking at home. I'm not a very good cook, but I like making food. And one additive I always use in, that I've been looking at putting in, into, to combine, um, combine with the emp and everything, and believe it or not, is Worcester sauce. We should all laugh, but it's anchovies, molasses, spice, garlic. It's fermented over years, and all them, to me, tick fish, especially carp. Everything in there is literally stuff that carp like. It tends to act as a flavour enhancer, works really well with all the dishes, so I thought, okay, we'll have a little bit of that within it. So the whole idea here, I'm trying to come up with a, a bait that's got everything I know carp like and eat, but not overboard with flavouring. So it'll be, a, it'll be a, a subtle level. I mean, when you do your own cooking at home, you don't stick lots and lots of eye flavours and sugars in. So it'll be low level, but taste. So I've, I've blended it all together. I'll do a list of of what I've done. I mean, what I thought, I've, I've worked it out. I've sort of played about with a recipe here. And it works on, it'll be about 55% protein level. Um, so I'm going to have a go about that. I'll just have a bit of a tidy up and put all these ingredients away. So then we can have a bit of a mix and just see how it rolls. So I, I'll back within a minute. Thanks. 